Welcome back to Vampire Survivors and today we will do a solo weapon limit break with the first weapon that you get in this game. Not an evolution, we won't take it any further, we will only stick to this weapon. Now as you can see, the whip is actually not a horrible weapon. Like we are leveling up a lot, we are killing a lot of enemies and it's decent, it's good, but the downside is it doesn't attack downwards, right? It only attacks upwards and that's a bit of an issue. Now the way the weapon works is the more amount you get the more slashes you do and they start on the left side then they go right left right left right left and they work upwards like you see that how it stacks on top the effect will be more severe the more amount we'll have thanks to limit break later on but you can already see that, that we are creating a whirlwind now one thing that we desperately need is Boogaloo of Illusions. I know there are some people that are really not a fan of it, while others love it. The issue is we need to make this whip as big as possible, that it grows also downwards. Like if you have it big enough, eventually it will cover your entire character and then we'll be safe. But before that, we'll keep taking damage and that would mean eventually I'll die. And if there's one thing that I don't want to do, it's, it's dying. Because that means it's all... What is it doing right now? I actually didn't remember that they slap at the same time. I still thought they do a chuk 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 Wait, what? Huh? Wait a second. So as long as I walk upwards, that would mean I'm protect- Wait a second. So as long as I walk upwards, that means I'm kind of protected here. More or less. And not up- Yeah, yeah, upwards. Upwards is the right one. Yeah, I had it right. Uh, that looks like I'm doing a claw attack. <laughs> What just happened to the boss? I hope I can blow your mind a little bit if you've never done a limit break with this weapon. Just how insane it can be. Which is, isn't it nutty? Like, it's the very first weapon that you have in this game, right? And we'll create something that just, that it destroys the enemies. Look at the damage right now. It already has 100 damage, but that is just the start of this. Do I have a revival? Yes. Do I have Tiragisu? I hope? I'm pretty sure I haven't sealed it as far as I know because we'll need that to survive and I will head over to the the Arcana. Is that a good idea? Well, let's find out. Okay, where's Tirak? There we go, we got it, perfect. Because now we have six items, that means I can pick up stuff from the stage and we definitely need the armor ASAP. So I will push through, maybe not with the curse, yeah, I will just walk upwards with that or sideways. Sideways and slightly upwards also works. But do you see, like, I'm not protected at all. We need more area. We need something to just save me. Let's let's take the damage, okay? I have to do it. I could have also not taken Torona or Antitome, but we need Antitome for sure. That's a given. And Torona is also very good to give us area. Yeah, I just have to bite the bullet. I just have to die here, walk through the enemies, get the armor, take less damage. Maybe we want to go for limit break first, but honestly, I don't want to do that because this will take so much time and we will banish Toruna at level 9 that we don't get the bonus curse but if I notice this is all too easy and we can easily deal with the enemies then we will pick up the Toruna on this stage because that stays there and then we get the final level up with that. Okay more armor very good I need to max out my armor here. The thing is it doesn't matter if I trigger the guardians if I then just die you know so I have to be still very careful what I do even more armor, beautiful, and more armor. I'm currently questioning if I should not just wait for a lot of limit break stats for area and everything. Because looking at this, if I have to deal with the guardians, like how do I plan to deal with them, right? Oh, oh, well, that, that worked. Okay, the hands are there, let's just do it. The curse just happened, we have limit break now. There's the ring, I will push through. We will go for Boogaloo of Illusions, I mean, Excuse me. We will go for Boogaloo of Illusions. Ah, oh, there we go. And we also get 40% area. That's like uh, 40 level ups with Boogaloo of Illusions. Now I will run away <laughs> and, and go into a hidey hole because uh, uh, this will be a little bit hardcore. So the thing is, the Guardians, we are playing on inverse mode. That's why we had a second arcane in the beginning. And in the options, in the menu, in the main menu, you can turn off that the stage is inverted because I don't like it. But uh, they have three times the amount of normal HP as well as all the other enemies and that means they usually have 30,000 HP. Now they have 90,000 and that will still be a huge number to deal with. But also I have to be careful because if I level up too much every two level ups because of Wicked Season we get 1% bonus curse, growth, luck and greed. 
and that means eventually these guardians they will be super fast and I can't deal with them anymore especially while the curse is doubled okay so right now it's doubled can we deal with them actually oh wow oh wow that is uh that is spicy I want to have the they get pushed into me oh no oh no oh no oh no I need a chicken I need a ch I need something to recover my HP here um, okay, this is a little bit too much. Brown is good. We can go for the badge, which would... Um, sure. Yeah, a free level up. I'll take it. We can go for the badge over there, which would give us revivals, but it also means we lose growth, and that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. Dude, wait, okay. We have so much damage, though. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, if I would just have an easier... Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I will just use this to clear the enemies and then we get- Oh my god! This character gets 50% bonus might, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is actually a lot. Okay, we still have one more revival left, that's good, but the guardians are pushing into me! The issue is I'm actually so efficient at killing the enemies right now that they don't block the guardians. You know, usually they stop the movement of them, but right now we are so good, it, it just doesn't happen. Uh, okay, if I don't kill them very soon, I'll go for area, just make it as big as possible, because that gets multiplied with the Boogaloo of Illusions growth. So, yeah, make it big. Make it really big. Is there a rosary? That's bad. Again, kills all the enemies. Didn't want that, but it's fine. Chicken is very good. A freeze would be amazing here, because... Oh, chicken is also good. Because this would mean I can focus on... Amount. Yes. I can focus on the guardians. Also, another important thing. Yeah, they can amount. Beautiful. <laughs> another important thing. Whenever you... Whenever... Whenever... Oh my god. Calm down, calm down, calm down. I have to be so careful how I move. Whenever you level up the weapon with limit break, it resets its attack. So if you have a huge amount of level ups in a row, it means you just attack a huge amount of times in a row, you know? And if you pick up one gem that is like here and you get a huge amount of limit break stats, then this means you attack the guardians a huge amount of times. That I didn't want that, but that's totally fine. Do you already see what I meant, that this will be something crazy? But um, this, this is not even the final form. Did we just kill a guardian? Uh, two guardians. Uh, three guardians. Four guardians. Okay. <laughs> Antonio, well done. Good job. I'm proud of you. I think I will walk on the other side where the badge is. So in a case where I lose Tiragisu, I can quickly pick up the badge and have a revival. Ah, uh, more amount. <laughs> you can have so much amount in this game, by the way. So, amount used to be unlimited, I think, if I remember that right. And there was a patch that limited it, that the weapon itself can have a maximum of 20 amount as a base stat. Then we have duplicators, so 22. We have uh, plus one amount here, so uh, 23. And uh, yeah, that means we have a total of 23 slabs that we can go for. But if we pick up the badge, this further extends it. But obviously the question is, do you really need more? Like, do we need plus 3 amount if we then lose, what is it, 15% growth? That sounds like a bad deal to me, but um, are you noticing this? The enemies are already getting hit that are below me. So we just have to take this a little bit further, and I think then I'll be covered and safe. If I stand here, no, that doesn't work. If I stand still, am I protected? Yes, but only without the curse. And what happens when the curse kicks in? We are still protected. We got enough area, guys! Okay, the main problem would still be if there are two tanky enemies, they could still get through. But um, that means we are on the right path. Like, we are almost there. And I think I'll just do random always. No Did you see that blade storm? <laughs> this is so amazing. This is so beautiful. This is the base character. This is the very first character you start with in this game when you boot it up, okay? The very first thing in this game with the very first weapon in this game because it's a starting weapon. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, while I walk down, it's still a little bit complicated, right? As you can see, but um, most of the enemies are dying. Do you see how far this goes down now until here? And eventually this will be here or somewhere. I, I don't know where it will be, but we'll make it as big as possible. More level ups. Yep, we're at 31%. We have 217% area. How bad is it to lose 15%? Should we just do this? You know what? Usually I wouldn't do this because I think it's bad, but we'll just do this and we'll take this to the extremes. We'll, we'll max this out. One more projectile, lost 3% growth. I'm totally fine with that. We'll just get as many projectiles as possible. 
Okay, if I was the red gem, I would be over to the left here. There. there. Oh, oh my god, is that it? Is that the biggie? That is the biggie. Look at this. Oh, level ups, level ups. 100. What is the sound? It sounds like a helicopter. Wait, what, what, what is going on with the sound? It's like whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> there is another vacuum. We have so many vacuums around here. <laughs> Just look at how far away the enemies are dying. And now the Boogaloo of Illusions is growing. Do you see that? Based on the damage numbers, you can easily see that how far this goes out. We are almost covering up the entire screen. We go down here right now when it's the biggest size. Oh my god. Okay, should I go over and get the final level of the Taruna? That is another 100% curse. And then we can also take on Genevieve and we can check the Guardians, how we deal with them. But today I don't want to spend any time with like gathering the, the stuff. And 1k damage is honestly not that that much, you know? If you remember the video with the Shroud, we had what, 80,000 uh, damage per hit or so? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm a helicopter. Ah, isn't it nice to have a moment of silence where just nothing happens and then you go back to this? <laughs> There's a red gem. That could actually be a biggie. Um, but if I was a biggie, I would be this one. Or this one. Yeah, okay, that was it, I think. Yeah, that, no! Where is it? I don't think it ever got created. Yeah, we are killing a huge amount of enemies. The issue is I don't want to walk into the tunnel while there is so much experience on the floor because eventually it will land in front of me and then I don't get any experience. So what we'll do here is... Actually, there... No, no. What we'll do here is there's a high chance on my right side right now there is the red experience gem creating. It's the furthest away, okay? So if you see one close, that's not the one. It's the furthest one away. Very high chance to be on the right side. We will walk to the right. Okay, let's do it. I, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, watch this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 it's all coming together. Let's go, let's go. I wanted to have the bonus HP just to make sure that, like, when a boss gets through and hits me, that we have a little bit more time to react. Um, but yeah, um, do you see the amount of level ups here? Do, do you see this? Do, oh. <laughs> Who turned on the old television? You know, the super, super back in the day. Where, oh my god. <laughs> it's just... Oh wow, okay, first of all, boss, second of all, grow, uh, Grove, not Grove. <laughs> oh my, um, we have 150k kills right now, um, we are going a little bit bonkers, and yep, yeah, there's the tunnel, you can notice that with the, the damage numbers that happened there, that's a giveaway. Do you see how much experience is here? Do, do you see the amount, how, what we are killing? And yeah, there are red gems that were generated, the issue is we are killing so many enemies right now that they just create the red gems, how much damage do we have? 1.6k not that impressive but keep in mind how many times we are attacking right now like we have a total of uh, plus six amount the weapon has 20 as i said the limit break takes it to 20 for all weapons it always takes it to 20 that is the maximum oh i didn't want to do that okay so there are the guardians how oh wow um, okay, so the weapon is super impressive against masses, but against single bosses, it's not that good. Well, I mean... Okay, so if I do the same thing like we did with the Shroud, and I would go into the corner here, do we kill them before they reach me? Will I ever take damage? Will I ever take damage? Like, I'm just saying, we already have this horrible video, right? So, technically speaking, we could do... <gasps> Nope, we won't do the same thing. I wanted to accumulate the eggs now for the next uh, 13 minutes, but it, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. L l let's leave again, okay? <laughs> Wait a second. That looks like a 3D version of something. Like, do you see there's, there's like a ball back there? There's a ball back there. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if my video gets censored or demonetized for that picture, that is, like, that is, yeah. <laughs> just get me out. I didn't do anything! You two! Don't come after me! <laughs> I mean, listen, 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 listen! Many guys have a bender, okay? That one is bending a little bit too weird, but like... That, 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 that's just... that's just biology, okay? Oh my god, the amount of level ups! There are so many red gems down because we're killing so many enemies! Uh, I need a vacuum. Oh, there's a vacuum over there. Right at the top of the bender. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Why did that have to happen? Why do these things always happen to me? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Genevieve is there. Hey, dude. Who is a girl or woman? But you're a dude. Everyone is a dude, okay? If you believe hard enough. We killed him. That's how easy it is. Can we get a candy box? Nope. Well, it looks like something got shot out there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I I, I don't even know what I meant with that. Is uh, <laughs> why why are the balls walking? <laughs> Do you see that? Wait, okay, so here's the center. Um, wh what is going on with 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 the projectiles there? No, they are they moving? It looks like they're moving, right? Yeah, it's up here now. <laughs> Can a video not be normal for once? Like just just normal. Oh yeah, I think it's walking further. I think they are stuck in a wall, and when they are in a wall, they slowly walk towards the character, no matter where they are on the map, until they leave the wall. So, yeah, they'll walk for for some time now. Just a little bit, but for some time. We are almost level 500, by the way. 200,000 kills. The good thing is, the video has gotten better, right? Like, before the flashing was so extreme, because it was... <laughs> no! <laughs> It wants me to pay child support! I have to run away! <laughs> it's chasing after me! What did I want to say? Uh, yeah, we have a huge amount of area. Can that thing just stop crawling in? <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Okay, so, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we get more and more area, eventually the slashes will be so far out that you don't get to see them anymore. Oh! But does that mean they could be so far out that they don't hit the enemies anymore? No, that wouldn't happen, right? Yeah, I don't think that will happen. What is the sound? Push, 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 push. Oh my god, they're crawling. <laughs> How are they still crawling in? How didn't they find an empty spot to settle in? How Why are they still crawling? What are these? What is this lag? Yeah, I can't imagine what causes this lag, by the way. Not at all. Totally not. Okay, I need to find a vacuum. There is one. There's one up there. Just ignore it, don't pay attention to it, okay? Uh, no, wait, that's not a vacuum. That's the track orb, yeah. Um, we don't want that, by the way, because it makes it harder to target collect the, the experience here. So I will just I will just throw this away. We'll take a look at the map, not because I'm concerned about something. Oh my god, just. It's <laughs> fine. Okay, is this a level 600? Only if I find the red gem. It's honestly, like, so I'll be honest, I was really scared that this will just be a white screen the entire time. But so far, I would argue this is manageable, right? Because now it's it's way better to... It's just a wish, 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 while we upgrade. Yes, I know, when I level up, then it resets the weapon attack, so it goes off again, and that's why we have this, like, that this happens, but... <laughs> it's such a weird sound. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I think they calmed down. Oh, 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 I was sleeping. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Uh, where, where's the red gem? There are so many red gems. So, okay. Uh, you have to know, area is capped out at 900%. Because that's like plus 900 to the base 100. So 1000%. So it makes sense. Oh, nice. We got a candy box. Yeah, we definitely need that. And skip. Oh, there is a blue ball over there. Let's wait for that. The next cycle. So the issue is the enemies are now so fast that sometimes they end up hitting me. Though, do you see that there are no damage numbers? And I haven't turned them off. That just means they're already dead. And this is just the animations of them. Ooh, wow. What just, what just happened there? Was it a boss that didn't drop a chest? That was not a normal enemy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I was a little bit overly rude. And I would like to visit my children for a moment, just to say hi to them. So, where are you guys? Where are... Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh! They managed to get into the tunnel! Oh, they are hatching! That's how it works with humans, right? They are hatching. Oh, that's so cute! Okay, I'll leave them alone. I will not interrupt them. You see, the thing is, I wanted to consume them, because that way, I... They, they can't be a problem if they don't exist anymore. But I, I'll just let them in there. Yeah, just stay in there, chill chill around, and, and one day we'll hatch and we'll grow into mini dexes. Oh no. <laughs> so, <laughs> we could get the bloody tear now. Tear, tear? 
it, it's honestly hard to say because I think I think it's meant to be bloody tear, but I've always called it bloody tear. Oh, Fuvula Fuvula would also be insane. Nope, nope, nope. We stick to the beginning weapon, the first weapon on the very first character you play in this game. Yep. Uh, and just to mentally prepare you, at 28 minutes, this game will turn into an absolute lag festival. Like, if you think it's bad right now, wait until you get there, because the enemies are ridiculously tanky, they will survive for a very long time, that means a huge amount of damage numbers, with 24 projectiles that attack multiple times a second. So we probably have a couple hundred projectiles per second that sh uh, get shot off. And we will hit the enemies for that amount of damage, like damage numbers I mean, calculations in the background, everything. And I think we just maxed out area, almost 20% more and we got it. Do I just want to have the money? Yeah, sure, sure. I think I have it banished either way, I mean sealed, so it won't level up. Ah, uh, never mind, yep, there's a bug in the game. I do have it sealed, do you see that down there? It's sealed. What happens if I do this again? Oh, okay. Okay, that actually worked out. So if you banish it, you don't upgrade it anymore. Interesting. Oh, look at the white mouse down there. Oh, look at... Why do all of my friends leave me? I guess it is normal how you greet people. Like, you see them, you whip them 24 times a second. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so many kills. I thought this video will be hilarious and may surprise one or another of you guys, you know, that have not seen this or done this. But, like, now I am the one being surprised. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Okay, and we managed to get 900% area. Okay, check this out. Wait a moment, wait a moment. There are a lot of level ups. We don't even have area upgrades anymore. We actually managed to get all of them. Do you know how many are in there? 200. And we got all of them. Yeah, 955%, so at 900 it's cat. That means from now on it won't get any bigger. This is just the size of it. But also keep in mind, every single time we get plus 1% might, this is actually plus 1 base damage, which is affected by crit. So instead of increasing our damage by 1, we increase it by 4 because we crit. And even more, because we also have might, right? So it's times 2.5. Actually, no, it's times 3.5 because that's a bonus. So that's, uh, what, did, what did I say? 4 times 3.5 is 14 damage every single level up. Jesus, it's laggy. Why is this laggy? Oh, that's hypnotizing. Where's my whip? Wait, what, what happened to my whip? <laughs> huh? Okay, it's really hard to see if there is a magnet anywhere. It's also... Let, let's turn off the damage numbers, right? The issue is why I'm against doing that. I often forget turning them back on, and I really hate that. Though, we can just make the calculation, right? We just... Okay, let's take a look at the damage right now. Okay, so we deal 3465 damage, I think. Yeah, roughly, because it's a range of plus minus 10 that the game shows. So all you have to know, if you want to calculate the damage, is take a look at our level that we had in that moment. And for every single level up, you just add 14 damage on top of it. And that way you'll know exactly how much damage we have without ever seeing damage numbers. Uh, how much are we leveling up right now? Okay, so and if we take a look at this now, then we have... It was 869, we have 80 level ups. 80 times 14 is 1120, so we should be at around uh, uh, 4000 something. And that looks like 4000 something. I know this was very precise, I know. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't ready. Uh, are you. Did we just kill all of them? Are you ready for the level? What is going on with it? Um. Ah, okay, uh, do we want to turn on the damage on this just for fun and giggles? <laughs> uh, oh my god, oh my god, the slowdown, do you see that? Oh my god, wait, if I press tab, it will slow down the game, right? This is how slow it is when I press tab. <laughs> oh, Jesus! I want to walk into the enemies to drown in damage numbers. This is ridiculous! And the, the, even more ridiculous that we actually kill the enemies! I don't think I can even explain how much we are leveling up right now. 
I do see this roll of locks. <laughs> and look at the kills. So we don't kill anything and then suddenly all of them explode at once. Where we get a huge amount of kills. Okay, we actually do get some kills over time. As you can see with the number up here. But it's nothing in comparison to before. But then all of a sudden, all of them that spawned at once will die. Okay, I want to have this chicken though. I'm getting a little bit concerned. I can just freeze the enemy. So this is like not a big problem. We have a huge amount of revivals. I don't... Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> okay, where's the freeze? Uh... Okay, they have... Oh my god, they're frozen. Wait, why did I not turn off the damage numbers? I'm an idiot. Yeah, th this will make it a lot better. Okay, there we go. So I will pick up this freeze here as well. Yeah, that's a lot better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pick up this freeze for the curse. Okay, good. Dude, we are getting so many kills while they are frozen. Wait, that is actually that is actually ridiculous. And there is a magnet up there. Let's pick it up right now. We also have the rosary, which is good. That will take care of them. Then we have another freeze in case we would need it. I don't even think we needed a freeze because take a look at the revivals. We have two more revivals. There's no way they would have chewed through that and the final life that we have. 29 minutes. Are you ready? There we go. Oh. Uh, maybe I'm not ready for this. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 that is a lot of damage. Like, this stage is no joke at all. What is going on? Did, do you guys know that you're frozen right now? Like, you're not supposed to move. Wait, what are you doing? Dude, <laughs> this is so insane. How can they be so powerful? Okay, let's do this one more time. Just one more time, because we want to see... Okay. Okay. Okay, we're actually killing enemies. Wait, I need to turn this off again. I, I, this was a final check for damage numbers, okay? We are over 5,000, I think. 5,500. You know it will uh, just get crazier. I, there's a chicken down there. This will heal me. Uh, okay, I'm getting a little bit concerned here, actually. There is a rosary. I need to use this to see where the stuff is. Uh, dude, I, I can't press escape. There are chickens down there. I'll go there. Okay, now I'm getting concerned because these dudes are next level. Like, this is not the same thing as before where I said, yeah, we can easily survive that. These dudes have way more damage. Okay. Good that I picked up the extra health and healing, by the way, because I... Oh. We actually did it. Look at the amount of kills we're getting. Jesus. The Reaper is about to spawn. I have to freeze him. There is a freeze up there somewhere. Yeah, I got it. There's a freeze, and now we get all the experience at once. Oh, and this will give us the final level up, as long as I freeze the Reaper, actually. There we go. So, are we ready for the final damage numbers? Well, I didn't forget it. Where is he? Where's the Reaper? Oh, there. Um. <laughs> Let's make this even more extreme. Oh, my God, the area. <laughs> Who wants a cooked reaper, huh? Who, who wants a cooked reaper? I want a cooked reaper, yeah, that, that's good. Wait, what? Um, you can kill me any moment you want, by the way. And the funny part is, no matter where he goes, he always gets hit. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, listen, this will take way too long. <laughs> I'll just quit, we still have a revival left. <laughs> So, let's see the final damage numbers. 19.5G. This is one of the highest damage numbers we've ever had. Alright then. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.